Preparation is key to not drowning in a sea of holiday sales. Retailers hope this is the most wonderful time of the year. With holiday shoppers lured into stores and onto websites by a nearly constant drum beat of deals. But often, the endless stream of snap sales leaves customers confused, wondering exactly when is the best time to buy that giant screen television or discounted cashmere sweater. Walmart and Target hiked their first doorbusters before the Jack O' Lanterns started to rot. Now that Black Friday week is upon us. Is it better to buy on Great Thursday, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, or Giving Tuesday? Or to hold off altogether until just before the holidays? Retailers are purposely drowning shoppers in a sea of deals, analysts say. A ploy to confuse consumers and then entice them to buy impulsively without knowing if the deal of the day would be even cheaper tomorrow or next week. But you don't need a crystal ball to confidently sort through the sales gimmicks to find the best bang for your buck, the experts say. It's the great unknown. Is there a better deal tomorrow? said Marshall Cohen, chief retail analyst at NPD Group. It does pay to do your homework. Holiday sales are expected to increase 3.7% to $630.5 billion in November and December, compared to the same period in 2014, according to National Retail Federation estimates. Analysts expect toys related to the upcoming release of Star Wars Episode VII to fly off the shelves, but they bemoan the lack of innovative new gadgets to drive sales. The average shopper is expected to spend $805.65 over the holidays. Experts say you can figure out the smartest way to spend your money by understanding the nature of the sale and the items on your Christmas list. As a general rule, sales that span an entire category of products will only get better with time, Cohen said. For example, if Macy's announces a sale on all of its outerwear, it means the store has a surplus of coats and jackets and needs to clear out inventory before the season ends. And given the unseasonably warm fall, there's likely to be a glut this year. In this case, Cohen said, patience pays because prices will continue to decline as the holiday nears. On the flip side, Shoppers should scoop up deals on individual products while they can. Retailers often make special arrangements with suppliers for a particular model of television or computer. These deals are often in limited supply and won't be available again, Cohen said. Another piece of advice before you spend hours in line outside Walmart to snag a 70-inch Vizio Smart HD TV, you should call the store to ask about inventory. Some stores include the number of doormaster items available in their advertising circulars. There's nothing worse than skipping Thanksgiving dinner to stand around in the cold if you end up missing out on the deal because the store offered only 25 televisions at the bargain price and you were the 26th shopper in line. Walmart, for instance, guarantees that a small number of its best deals will be available for one hour after the store opens its doors, 
including the now G55 inch class Smart 4K UHD TV for $698 and the Xbox One 500 GB Gears of War bundle for $299. Websites dedicated to sorting through deals can also be helpful resources, said Edgar Dworsky, the founder of ConsumerWorld.org. One site, BlackFridayE.gotadel.com, aggregates prices for specific models of televisions, tablets, and other products to determine which retailer is offering the best bargains. Another, shop.pricespitter.com, offers historical prices for particular items, Dworsky said. You can't assume that every item advertised on Black Friday is a great deal, Dworsky said. You have to develop this price consciousness. One major benefit of online shopping is that consumers can sometimes snag doorbusters from the comfort of their living rooms. Many deals go live online at specific times, which retailers describe on their websites and in holiday advertisements. For example, Target launched some of its best deals in stores and online Wednesday. Walmart is offering dormisters online beginning at 12.01 a.m. on Thanksgiving morning. A survey of digital shopping habits and prices found that the days before Black Friday are often the best time to shop. Because product availability is high and prices are relatively low, according to Adobe Digital Index, a marketing research firm. Prices were often cheapest on Thanksgiving or Black Friday, but shoppers risk losing out on deals because of limited inventory, said Tamara Gaffney, principal research analyst at Adobe. Cyber Monday isn't as important as it once was due to the rise in mobile phone shopping and early onset of digital deals. Cohen of NPD said it also pays to be flexible. Retailers often offer the season's best deals after the holidays to clear out winter inventory, which means that a gift card goes further. Of course a big downside to waiting until after the holidays, or shopping at the last minute before then, is that sizes and colors might be limited, Cohen added. He advises shoppers not to get too stressed over holiday shopping. The legion of deals means you can typically find a good price. Don't fret if you miss out on a deal, Cohen said. There's going to be someone else, somewhere else, sometime else with the same deals.